It is time for personal responsibility. We must accept our role in the global waste crisis. Let's make 2023 the year we take personal responsibility for our own contribution to the waste crisis and reduce it wherever we can. 2.12 billion tonnes of waste is dumped across our beautiful planet every year. That's one garbage truck of plastic dumped into our oceans every single minute. By 2030, it will be two trucks per minute and by 2050, four trucks. The waste crisis is out of control and it's beyond time we did something about it. Surely our children deserve to know clean beaches, oceans, rivers and land. One, we must say no to all single-use plastics in all situations. But we must also be mindful of saying no to all single-use items, not just plastic. If you don't need it, don't accept it. Everything created requires energy, mining, manufacturing and transportation to exist. Everything costs the earth. We need less stuff, not replacements. We are not going to sustainability our way out of this mess. Two, take your own bags to shop and never accept a plastic bag. We have enough bags for thousands of years, but don't accept a paper bag either. Trees are cut down to create paper bags. And remember, plastic bags were invented to replace paper bags due to massive deforestation. The plastic bags were never invented to be single use and there's a lot more people shopping today than in 1965 when plastic bags were first invented. Three, try not to eat in restaurants, cafes or bars, including hotels, which serve food or drinks on or in single use packaging, plates, cups, cutlery. Reduce takeaways unless a sustainable packaging option is available, but reduce regardless. In your favorite drinking, eating destination, speak to the manager and give them your ideas to solve the waste crisis. Always take your own water bottles everywhere, restaurants included. Four, never buy any drinks in a plastic bottle or accept them in restaurants or cafes. Glass, aluminium and tetra packs can all be recycled. Plastic is not being recycled in any great quantity anywhere on earth and is often dumped in poorer countries. Our oceans, rivers and land are full of these bottles. Make your mantra, no plastic ever and never compromise. It's not as hard as you think. Five, say no to fast fashion and all clothes accessories made of plastic fibers, which means it's made from fossil fuels. Say no to luxury fashion too. They are responsible for massive deforestation, environmental abuse, human suffering and slavery in the supply chain. We need to buy significantly less clothing, buy secondhand, join a clothing swap, buy less but higher quality. It is time to hold all fashion brands to account of the environmental destruction and human suffering they are causing. However, we must never forget, we are funding that destruction when we support and buy from these brands. Six, say no to corporate giveaways or freebies that only have one place to go, landfill. Just because it's free doesn't mean you have to say yes. Ask the questions, is it good for the earth? Do I need it? Does it bring value into my life for the long term? If the answer is no, say no. Seven, be mindful when shopping at the supermarket. Buy the most sustainably packaged products you can afford. Better yet, shop at your local market or farmer's market and take your own bags. The more local you buy, the more you can be involved in managing out the single-used waste. At a basic level, to reduce single-use plastics, plant your own garden. At a minimum, plant your own herbs. Eight, check your beauty products. Can the packaging be recycled? Can you return it to the brand to push for a circular economy like Mac offers? Do your beauty products contain microplastics in the ingredients, say eyeshadow or nail polish? If it sparkles, it's almost certainly plastic. What are the options for refills or bulk buying? Google search bulk buying in your area. It's not just available at the high-end shops. Nine, go easy on the celebrations. Buy once and use for years versus the trend of new decorations and themes every year. Buy experiences, not gifts. Let's stop the culture of gift giving when more than 60% is discarded or re-gifted. Wrap in newspaper, brown paper, tissue paper, whatever you have. Let's avoid buying wrapping paper and accessories. It's just more waste. Do not buy balloons and do not buy cheap plastic decorations that can only last for a single use. Let's celebrate in a classy way again. Less stuff is the goal. Besides, let's remember why we're celebrating.
10. When traveling, offset your impact generously and avoid single-use plastics. Avoid the cheap tourist crap too. It won't even last the length of your holiday. If you're traveling to an island, bring all your rubbish back with you. Otherwise, it will end up in the environment where it's burnt and dumped in nature. Bring it back. Let's treasure the beautiful places we visit so they remain beautiful. The first place to address the waste crisis always, always starts with us. We need to be very conscious of reducing the waste coming into our lives as well as reduce the waste going out. Because you know, there is no away, right? We must put the effort into making sure whatever goes out has a place to go that isn't an incinerator or landfill. Otherwise, let's stop buying it. Start by not buying what can't be recycled and find out what can be recycled in your town, city or country. We must come together and collectively solve this enormous challenge, but we must also see our own contribution first. To stop the waste crisis tripling by 2050, we must stop contributing to the waste in our own lives and push the brands and businesses we love to do better for Earth. It is time to put nature first. Anything not contributing to the flourishing of the natural world has no right to exist. We are out of balance with nature and our consumption habits are driving this imbalance. We can't change many things, but we can change ourselves. Let's do it. Just say no in 2023. If it can't be reduced, reused, repaired, rebuilt, refurbished, refinished, resold, recycled or composted, then it should be restricted, designed or removed from production. Pete Seeger, amen. If you care about our world and humanity, come and join me. We've got a lot of work to do. Happy New Year. Let's make this year count.